Sports Video Group is thrilled to be here at the facilities of Media Pro for our first ever Soccer Summit Americas. Brandon Costa from Sports Video Group. I have the pleasure now to be joined by a good friend of SVG, Mr. Mario Sosa. Uh, nice pleasure to see you, sir. Thank you so much for opening your facility to us. It's great to be here. Welcome here. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a pleasure to have this first uh, Soccer Summit in, uh, in our facilities. It was uh, something that we started working on that last year, um, almost a year ago. And when Ken mentioned, it was like, uh, whoa, what excitement to have this event here. Uh, obviously, you guys work a lot and very deeply ingrained in this sport. So, uh, so what does it mean for uh, Media Pro to have the, a, a pretty sizable chunk of the local soccer community here in, in your building right now? Well, uh, one thing that is important is that, uh, you know, we, we do a lot of soccer all around the world. You know, we start in Spain, but we do all, all Europe, every country, every year. Uh, we grew a lot in, uh, in South America, we grew a lot in soccer world in Africa, Asia and so on. But you know in the US it's, uh, it's another story. So um, at the end of the day we, we, we want to grow uh, our and expand our view and our vision about how we operate the soccer that is different than any other company we can say. Because at the end of the day we, we as we mentioned in the panel, we have the right side, we have the content production side related with soccer means you know news executive production and then the, the technical production where we we have you know trucks studios the the thing that we do to be in but the, the thing that we do to 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 la liga you know the the big level and then when we the, the, you know when we we bring all this stuff and all the technologies and all the integrations and all the innovations to other worlds and to other leagues like Gabon or Bolivia or other places that don't have typically the ability to do high level production, but we don't bring, of course, the high level equipment like 4K as we do in Spain, in Spain uh -huh. but we bring super slow motion and we bring uh, aerial cameras and pole cameras. That's something that they are not used to have. Uh, so talk, let's talk a little bit about some of the tech that you guys are uh, providing some of your clients. Uh, uh, it's come up a lot at the event today, automated production and the promise and the future of it. Um, uh, on your panel, we're talking a little bit about it with uh, MLS's Larry Scornia about uh, automated cameras. Uh, so automated production in this sport, I mean, soccer is a sport that's ripe for innovation. Uh, it leads in a lot of those ways. Uh, how are you seeing automated production kind of uh, uh, play out here and just how impactful do you think it could be? I mean, uh, we, we have the business view and the technology view. Mm -hmm. sure. I mean, on, on the technology view, that's simple. I mean, mm, why with all the available technology in the market today, with all the power that you can have with the computers, with all the, you know, advances on technology, don't have the dream that we can do everything better. But that's better, it means that uh, better than the humans. Not sure, because right. we don't want to, to don't have humans, it's <laughs> simply because certain kind of things probably we can have a computer doing better especially the kind of things that are not creative you see so if you want to track a ball probably yeah. it's easier for a computer than uh, a cameraman uh -huh. but then you know that's a bit the, the other the other side is for us the most important is the business side you when you come to soccer but many other sports what happened today we have the 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 deliver with the ott world growing uh, especially to try to have not the access to the same kind of t t tier one content like La Liga or like Premier League, but you know you have leagues like third division here in the US like uh, you know uh, USL or even the women's soccer league or when we come to Latin America or when we come to Africa, you have you know low amount of people so it's not a mass market. So what happened with these kind of competitions? They don't have enough money to pay for a truck production. Uh, so that's where appear the technology and automatic TV is one of the available technology we believe that are the, the, the best technology, especially to go to these guys, like Larry mentioned, that we, we cannot you know, do a truck production that's for all right. the matches. So right, we right. need to find alternatives. That's yeah. where it comes this kind of technology. Okay, uh, and uh, as it's been said, those kind of it's about establishing consistency across a large scale of matches. Soccer has, j there's just so much content. There's so many matches that have been played domestically, internationally. Uh, but when that, uh, that kind of baseline is established, there is a desire to maybe add some cool camera angles, some sharp graphics, things like that. Uh, what are some of the other tools that maybe you're offering that 
can be a little more a- approachable than maybe a you know some of the big high end stuff that you'll see yeah. in like a La Liga, you know, El Clasico. Exactly, it's funny because we are on the all all the degrees of this uh, chain. Sure, yeah. So of course that uh, as we do La Liga matches with 24 cameras, uh, 4K UHD, and so on and so on and so on. And then we also do other leagues that with yep. uh, matches with six cameras, no no super slow motion, no special cameras, sure. regular graphics. So. In this arena, we we have uh, special things that we develop with the time and we continue integrating to uh, offer to the top level and then uh, do what what I call you know democratic uh, transfer to the other to the other because at the end of the day it's in industry the way that the factory think. So uh, when we come to the top level, La Liga today. We integrate our own technology like uh, the aerial camera for Sky. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's uh, completely developed by a media pro company from scratch. Yeah. And now it's used in all La Liga matches. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, we started uh, several years ago the development and now we, have the w- we are ready to come to the other markets to offer as a product and a service. That's what we are doing today in the US and not only for soccer I mean because here mm, okay soccer we have a lot of matches but uh, I mean we dream with uh, American you know football and basketball and so on and the product is is amazing because at the end of the day compared with uh, when you compare with the competitors it's very small gear so it means that can it's much easier to 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 do the operation but you know um, other t- not only our technologies but uh, you know using and integrating with other technologies we are doing something in the league this year you know, we have augmented reality using WTVision technology with data provided by, you know, Traca, for example, Chiron Eagle, and we can see live game with all these, uh, you know, eat maps in real, uh, in integrated. So th- that's exactly what we used to do: is to integrate these top-level, you know, high expensive uh, technologies, and then year after year bring all this stuff. To the to all the other you know leagues that we are doing. All right, Mario, fascinating stuff. Thank you so much for the time, and again, thank, thank you. you for hosting thank us here you. today. Why Pleasure to be see here. You next year. I hope so. I <laughs> hope so. All right, thanks so much again. For more of what's going on here at SVG's first Soccer Summit Americas, visit us online at the site now at sportsvideo.org.